Hi, Jeff Mapes. It's about 10 after 9 now, and we don't have the final numbers yet, but one thing I think is very clear, we're seeing the result of a tremendous Democratic surge tonight that really is unprecedented in Oregon. You can go back for 30, 40 years, and you will not find a time that Democrats came out in higher percentages than Republicans came out in this state. And this may be the first election to do this uh, in at least four decades. Uh, the numbers that we were receiving right up till election day showed that Democrats were coming out about three or four percentage points higher rate than Republicans. The other interesting thing is the, the late polls in the race were showing that Democrats were much more loyal than usual. usual. You know, what often happens is Democrats are sort of known in the infamous words of Will Rogers as not an organized party and but they and, and, and generally it's the Republicans who coalesce much more behind their candidate uh, polls indicating that was not true in the governor's race, that it was actually the Democrats who were much more unified this time. And we're seeing the effects of that not only in the governor's race, where Governor Kulongoski has a big lead, but all the way down the ballot. You're seeing it in the legislative races where the Republican leadership of the House, for instance, Speaker Karen Minnis uh, running behind her challenger Rob Brading, uh, House Majority Leader Wayne Scott, uh, barely ahead in his race there against Democrat Mike Cottle. Uh, you're seeing it on the ballot measures, which uh, the results for most of them are looking like uh, the, it's coming off of a recommendation sheet from the local Democratic Central Committee. No on tax cutting measure 41, no on the spending limit measure 48, uh, big yes vote on measure 44, the prescription drug uh, measure, even the local measures, uh, school, Portland school levy passing, library levy passing. Uh, all in all, you're just seeing the effect of this Democratic surge up and down the entire ballot.